I literally don't understand the hype about Stanley's, and this is coming from a person who has one. This is insane. Look at this dupe, stupid. Get him, get him. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Yeah, stop him. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Stop him. Stop her. Stop her. It's the younger generation or something but like this whole obsession with collecting them is really scary <laughs> I, like, I feel like the like it's cute now to be a hoarder remember the show hoarders that was on tv i don't know if it still exists you could probably watch like reruns of it on like youtube or whatever but like that was people who had a sickness and now it's like cute to be like oh look i have like a hundred like I don't know, drunk elephant products or I have like a hundred Stanley cups or whatever. And it's like, oh, who can have the most things? And like that shows your wealth level. But I think it shows your insanity level because like when did hoarding become cute? I got to be real with you guys. You look like f***ing clowns. Oh, I'm not kidding what is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new hi it's keisha nice to meet you all get in here because you've got quite a bit to discuss so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the stanley cups the stanley tumblers whatever you want to call it everyone and their auntie cousin sister and niece has been going on about this i mean not even the girlies the gays have been loving it too even the straight people have been loving it okay so basically everyone it's it's it's, it's an epidemic let's just call it what it is it's an epidemic i think people are moving absolutely mad for a cup now, I understand the appeal. I'm not going to sit my ass cheeks here and pretend that I don't understand why people are going crazy for it. I know for me... <laughs> Let me explain. Hold on. I'm going to be very honest when I say that, like, influencers really did influence me to get this cup. Now, this isn't the original Stanley Cup. And also, can we just talk about how bedazzled this is you can't really see it much on camera i guess but it's bedazzled this is the dupe of the dupe of the dupiana so the stanley cup i think is like 28 dollars i've seen but the bigger ones go up for like 48 dollars now who in their right mind is spending 48 dollars wallers on a cup now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm just gonna say what it is that we've all been thinking now i mean te technically not everyone's the same but for me personally when i first got this cup i was obviously obsessed i was heavily influenced by some of my favorite influencers you know i constantly saw them having it in their vlogs i saw tiktokers going on about this cup and i felt like i had to have it now typically i don't really feel like i have to do things or hop on trends but this cup like it really sold it to me because i'm somebody who i want to drink more water i always make it my goal to drink like i don't know i mean realistically speaking i probably should be drinking between six cups to eight cups a day <laughs> Mm. girl for me that's a challenge i love me some fizzy drinks and i love me some sweets okay i love me some sugar when i saw this cup i was like you know what there's quite a lot in here and if i keep on refilling it and refilling it then how many like this could be good for me it's aimed to like keep your waters cold keep your liquids cold and everything i've had water for three days sitting and that bitch is still cold so it definitely does work but again this is not the original stanley cup this is the dupe of the dupe of the dupe i've had this for about six months now maybe uh mm, maybe like four months i don't know if i tell you where i got it from i'm gonna have to kill you bitch because you guys are probably dragged me for filth at, at the time the company wasn't cancelled but now it's cancelled because of, like everything going on in the world so i'm not gonna put you onto the product but i definitely have you know used this product and definitely like it but to be completely honest with you i don't always gravitate for it i don't and that's the part they don't tell you but let's go ahead and talk about the stanley cup craze because everybody in the great grandfather moving mad over it and i'm just gonna be honest with you i don't understand like i understand it but i don't understand it why are you queuing up at two in the morning as in don't you need to go and breastfeed your child like don't you have responsibility don't you need to prepare for work in about two three hours no okay cool i've been seeing so many tiktoks of people just you know queuing outside um what's that place called again because of tea 
Target. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Excuse my ignorant ass, but we don't have Target here in the UK, innit? That's my excuse. So yeah, I've been seeing people queuing outside Target, people queuing outside Starbucks, early hours of two in the goddamn morning. I know for me, bitch, I'm sleep. <sighs> if someone bothers me at two in the morning, imagine my friend calling me up like, girl, let's let's queue outside. There is not many things I'm gonna be queuing outside for at two in the morning. Now, if it's Beyonce tickets. Mm, i love me my sleep but that makes a bit more sense to me you know but i guess everybody has their obsession some people you know get obsessed over celebrities people get obsessed over like i don't know trainers iphones and apparently stanley cups <laughs> let's go ahead and check out this article that i saw on la times you've got people who are buying multiple cups um i don't know who they're buying it for maybe they're going to try and resell it because these cups are not cheap they are not cheap whatsoever i understand why it's pricey especially if we look at the the item itself and the material used i get it i think it's very funny because this has been around for a very long time but when the new it girls talk about a product obviously people are going crazy for it and i think that that's the that's the scary part about tiktok especially like obviously you should have it in yourself to not like want to splurge on everything but some people do have problems i know for me personally like shopping and this might sound like a privilege in itself and i guess it is it's become a problem for me like i i'll be like you know what i don't need this i don't need this i don't need this and then before i go to bed why is it in my cart that's one problem right it's in my cart but then why am i checking out and using apple pay i'm aware of the fact that i have a problem when it comes to like wanting to buy items i'm not somebody who's like trying to follow trends though. that's the difference about me like i'm not just gonna like hop into like clean girl aesthetic because everyone is doing it like no i'm gonna do what works for me personally but there was just something about this that i felt like i had to have and obviously it was pink and bedazzled are you dumb and also it wasn't 50 pounds like i'm not paying 50 pounds in this economy where things are being bumped up are you dumb or stupid babes you're done this was like i think it was definitely less than 20 pounds i think it was yeah i think it was my i think it was definitely less than 20 pounds i think it might have been like 15 pounds 17 pounds which is still quite expensive but i feel like i think who influenced me was probably molly may definitely a white girl i would be straight up with you <laughs> i think a lot of people who like make these videos are probably people who don't have the cup or whatever i have the cup it's not the original stanley but it does the same thing and for a fraction of the price so a win is a win bitch the craze has prompted long lines outside of target stores in the dead of the night ugly fights have broken out shouting matches have erupted all this hubbub over stanley cups no not the stanley cup awarded to the national hockey league champion we are talking about the insulated steel tumblers sold in various colors at target and starbucks Fun fact about me, since we're speaking about Starbucks, um, I've never, like, I've been to Starbucks once, but, like, I don't have the memory of it. Like, I remember just, like, standing there. I don't know whether I ordered something. I don't know what I ordered. I don't know what I was doing there. I'm just, like, like, I, I want to be with those girls who, well, are, are we not boycotting Starbucks? Babes, I feel like we're boycotting all the brands at this point. This might come to major surprises to people. Um, I'm not basic. I'm joking. I'm not saying that if you go to Starbucks, you're a basic or even i wouldn't even know what to order like i'll probably just go for a hot chocolate but babes so you can get that anywhere else you know what i mean go to just another cafe like what do you i would love to know like if i was to get into coffee what is like the basic go-to because i'm more of like a sweet guy i need me a little bit of vanilla in there like give me the basic order that would do it and hit the spot because i don't want strong bitter coffee that smells like my teacher's breath and like, that's my nightmare i don't want none of that extra stuff i'm more of a sweet girl so put me on but then also don't put me on because I'm going to be addicted to it. Because one thing about me is when I like something so much, I'm going to rinse it out. Like, rinse and repeat. So on a recent Friday afternoon, Target shelves in LA County were barren, devoid of cups. Surprisingly, there hasn't been reports of people resorting to violence to secure the converted item. But at least one online video shows a man trying to make a quick getaway from a Target store with a tumbler under his arm. <laughs> only to be tackled by what appears to be furious shoppers people are moving mad for this product and this is the thing like people keep saying oh my god it's just gen z it's just gen z bro i promise you it's people my mom's age like respectfully people are probably 10 years older than my mom every nationality height religion race is going crazy for this bottle it's not clear how the frenzy started but it seems to follow the pattern of merchandise mania like the plastic disney popcorn bucket in the shape of a dragon in 2022 yeah i don't know what that is sorry or the playstation 5 in 2020 and the popeye's chicken sandwich in 2019 Collectors and sellers of the tumblers suggest that the craze has been fueled by the manufacturer's marketing strategy. It's kind of unfortunate that I'm seeing people who are just like rocking normal tumblers, right? Or normal water bottles because that's maybe all they can afford. I, I think that this has kind of become a class thing now. I think that when you see somebody with this, you automatically associate them with having the best of the best things or the nicest of things. And that's when things get really messy because I know that when people go into school and they don't have an item like this, they're probably ridiculed and made to feel poor or less than. And that's when it's like, okay, this is just not even funny anymore. Like 
this is just sad now I thought i had it hard when i was in school and i definitely did i'm not gonna take away from my experience because bitch i went through it i can't imagine being in school now in this tiktok era where it's all about having nice things it's all about being the it girl it's all about like flexing wealth when it's like some people just don't have that some people just can't afford to like spend 20 pounds 50 pounds on a cup that is not important to them but they're made to feel shite but to anybody who's still in school um just rock what it is you can afford i feel like live beyond your means don't feel like you have to go and chase things because it's trendy um trends come and go so influencers on tiktok and other platforms have contributed to the mania by posting catchy videos of the tumblers i've seen so many videos of people like decorating their tumblers people having like 12 in their collections like babes why do you have 12 in your collection just use the one like pick the one that you like and buy it but what likely sparked the latest viral popularity was a november tiktok video of a woman's car that caught fire Everybody's so concerned about if the Stanley spills. But what about the milk? It's in a fire yesterday. It still has ice in it. The Stanley Cup not only survived, but kept her beverage cold. The video had nearly 94 million views. In response, the Stanley company offered to replace not only the cup, but her car. That was mad. When I saw that video, I was like, oh my God. Like, I don't ever have a car, but like... Should I blow it up? I'm joking, 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 I'm joking. That's crazy though, because let's be honest, a lot of brands wouldn't offer to pay for a car. They might like give you back, you know, they might send you an item like, oh my God, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Like I'm sending you this one for free or might give you a whole collection. But Stanley, the company themselves reached out, they saw it. And that is how you know TikTok is a mad app. Like everybody's on TikTok. Great advertising. I think that was great on their end. They didn't know that was going to happen, but it happened. And that had business booming for them. Stanley insulated cups are not new having been invented by William Stanley Jr. in 1913. But with a dedicated fan base on TikTok, various styles and prices ranging from $20 to $60 for a 64 ounce version, we need to calm down with like wanting to have everything. It's unhealthy, it's toxic. Um, I definitely have played, and I've definitely contributed to that where I felt at a time, not, not so much now, but like I felt like I had to have the best of the best or I felt like I had to have everything that people were talking about on TikTok. But then when you have it, it's like, okay, now what? Do you know what I mean? Like it's now bitch what what do i do now you know like and uh, typically it's makeup items though like why do i need a billion different lip glosses like just stick to the ones that you like stick to the status quo if you want no but seriously though if you guys saw my makeup collection before i cleared it out it was really bad and i was looking at myself like why do i need a billion foundations i'm typically somebody who i want to say i'm smart with my money but then obviously like at the start of the video i was showing you oh i wasn't showing you guys but i was telling you guys that i l I buy stuff and I go crazy with it. Influencers. Listen, an influencer job is meant to influence, right? Not everybody can get me to literally swipe my card, but there are a few people who have, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. There's been a few people who've advertised products, whether it's like hygiene products, whether it's like makeup products, whether it's tech, you name it. And I'm like, okay, I wanna have this because it looks genuinely good. I buy it sometimes and I'm not even using it. And that's my problem. I'm very self aware. And that's something that I'm trying to work on in 2024 and moving forward because unnecessarily amount of money is being spent on items that we don't actually need or care about maybe we like it for about a week or two maybe about a month or whatever and then after that bitch bye 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 i don't want to be a fool for you. what was the nsync said baby bye 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 like bitch i don't even be using it do you remember the trend of like wanting to wear brown like brown was everybody brown suddenly became everybody's favorite color I remember going on brands that we shall not name and just like wanting to have brown jeans babes i don't even like jeans you'll catch me in it don't get twisted brown jeans like i'm not saying that if you wear brown jeans you're not that babe you are that babe but why did i feel like i was that babe if i invested in brown jeans and a brown um, jumper that that was the trend and then i remember going through my closet at the end of that year just thinking like what the flip was i on what's wrong with me don't answer that i'm so happy though i've cut down tremendously like i'm happy that like people but you ain't gonna get me to swipe my card not just anyone mm -mm -mm -mm. i have my faves when they advertise something i might not buy it but i'll check out the website and that's what you call influencers so i guess influencers are doing their job but i hate when they make you feel like if you don't have it then you're just not that bitch babes i'm still that bitch even if i didn't have a stanley cup or even though it's not a stanley the dupiana okay why are you buying endless amounts of reusable cups what are you like, like do you not understand the logic behind that the entire point of it is to not buy plastics like the capitalism is actually mad and it's gotten to me so bitch i'm a victim at this point i i, I see myself as a victim so i don't need the whole victim thing like oh my god she thinks no i'm a victim if you're a kid 
and this was on your christmas wish list or your birthday wish list if you're asking for a stanley cup because i'm seeing 10 year olds asking for stanley cups and they're like babes when i was 10 this is not me trying to promote like a healthy lifestyle because at the end of the day this was like my story when i was 10 i loved me a capri sun oh sorry <coughs> americans say capri sun why do people love to like excuse me i saw a video of this swedish girl and she pronounced capri sun capri sun because that's how we see it that's what it is for us but the americans say capri suns babes this capri for me babe i'm not being funny but i'm a capri babe capricorn no i'm a gemini um sorry i'm waffling way too much in it and it's only like what 10 in the morning that's crazy same with barbie dolls at the age of 10 i would ask for a barbie doll for christmas not a flipping stanley cup what do i need that for i'd actually be pissed off if my mom got me a stanley cup instead of a barbie doll like i'm tired of this whole capitalism thing i'm tired of like certain items representing class and status bitch we can't all afford this not too much now there's plenty of tumblers i can get for under 10 pounds that would do the same goddamn thing yes it might not be as pretty as a stanley cup but bitch i'm gonna customize it and do a liquid diy gem moment leave me alone it's really interesting because if you actually go and research on the Stanley company itself and why it was invented and the marketing even back in that moment, a lot of it was to do with, I think, World War. Um, <laughs> and it's so crazy because people are literally going to war for this item. Okay, so let's check out the Stanley official website and what it says in the description. So it says the Stanley brand has been in business a long time, for real. Over a hundred years to be exact. It was 1913 when William Stanley invented the all steel double wall vacuum bottle and stuck his name on it. Rumour has it that he wanted his coffee hot all day while he was working and was inspired to apply some of his theories learned while developing Transformers. As it turned out, necessity really is the mother of invention since then the stanley name has become synonymous for ultra durable super reliable products made with an eye for sleek design and real life users generations of people have come to rely on their stanley bottles mugs lunch boxes cook sets flasks growlers cookers and more sorry callers and more i can see i'm blind but would you go to war for me would you go to war for your best friend no would you be cute like, would you wait outside for me at two in the goddamn morning if I told you to pull up at two in the morning because I'm going through something, would you come and meet me? No, you wouldn't. Oh, fun fact. I, sorry, I just looked at myself in the camera and I was like, oh my God, maybe I do see it. But basically, I keep getting comments. And by keep on, I literally got like two or three comments in the spam of a year. <laughs> What's wrong with me? The people keep saying I look like Ayo, um, the girl from The Bear. And I, I, I don't like when people compare me to other people. Because I feel like you just see a dark skinned babe, a fine one, which I'm, I'm, I, I would have. I'm, I, I love the idea of being compared to somebody's beautiful. So thank you. Because it could really be bad. Someone could compare me to a boiled egg. Anyways, um, no, people keep um, saying that I look like this person. I look like Alicia from whatever that show is. And I'm like, babes, I'm Keisha. I look like me. But I looked at myself for a quick second. And I feel like, okay, I see it. Like I saw it for a quick second. Just a quick second. But don't be comparing me to anyone else because babes, I'm Keisha. Like, no, people be comparing me to Kiki Palmer every 2.5 seconds. It's like, bro, well, just because we're both funny and black and talented oh okay fair enough i see it i'm gonna go now because i just i'm getting really irritated i'm gonna put my laptop away because like is it like yes i'm wearing oh my god i'm literally exposing myself i'm literally wearing my christmas pajajays and it's not christmas anymore but i mean leave me alone i just i just feel like i need to do better and i want to do better and i'm going to do better i'm gonna make that my mission of 2020 i was about to say 27 2024 um like, I genuinely just want to do better because I don't flip in need to buy all these things. Like, even me, I'm always, like, going through my room and just seeing what I can donate, seeing what I can recycle. And I'm not going to lie to you, bitch, I don't always get it right. Like, sometimes I accidentally put the wrong item in the bin, sort of the recycling bin. Bitch, I'm just, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to get better. Leave me alone, all right? But I'm trying is the thing. And I feel like a lot of influencers, they don't, they don't care about those things because they're getting paid or because it's cool to be, like, trendy and all these things. And I think a lot of people are classists. And I, I think that you know like it's so unfortunate seeing these things play out and pan out but i mean it is what it is i'm just going to choose to follow influencers who just get it and influencers who aren't doing the most and trying to like force an item down my throat like babes if it was meant to be babes it was meant it, it was meant to be um but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section because i've been rambling for 28 minutes oh my goodness hopefully i haven't bored you have i bored you if i bored you then sorry babes i'll pay you a dollar a dollar a dollar a dollar i need a dollar a dollar is what i need where did he go be the change you want to see <laughs> was cheesy but it's the truth though anyways guys i'm gonna go now because i've been talking way too much and i'm sure that like 
I don't know what I was going to say next. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for rocking with me in today's video. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video. Bye.